Hey guys, Electron Man. Well, you know, you brag about something and then lo and behold, <laughs> it gets you every time. I uh, I was doing service, or I showed my service I did here about two, three weeks ago, and this mower was saying, man, it's been an awesome mower. It's like six years old. Really, I only placed a couple belts, do my oil changes. Well, I went out mowing, and uh, <laughs> I uh, was mowing around some tie railroad ties I got out front, around a culvert. And uh, I just got, got in the wrong position and kind of rolled over the culvert and dropped the deck on top of that railroad tie. And, uh, of course, it jammed the blade. I got off of it, backed up, thought, well, shoot, you know, hopefully I didn't hurt nothing. And I uh, put it back in, in gear, and it, the blade's still going. I go back to mowing, and then I look behind me, and I got a scout spot that's, you know, like cutting dirt. So I'm like, shoot, I must have been a blade. So anyway, long story short, I... Uh, I pull in here, I use my li fancy little lift that I got, I, by the way, go check out the review I did on that, that's going to be handy, but uh, anyway, um, anyway, so anyway, I pull it in here, and I lift up the deck, and I put my hand underneath there, and uh, I could move the blade, uh, I broke the spindle, you know, six years, and I've hit many of things, but it never broke a spindle, but go figure, I break the spindle, so anyway, today's video is going to be on replacing the spindle yeehaw that ought to be a lot of fun at least i got my handy little uh lift i bought i figured it'd make it a lot easier to do this job so uh we're gonna go ahead and get started on pulling this deck out from underneath it um you could probably change the spindle on the lawnmower but it's just i'm gonna go ahead and put a new belt on it as well um might as well just go ahead and pull the deck and check it all out since uh since that happened but uh, anyway we'll go ahead and get started on this kind of show you what I got going Fortunately, on. Fortunately on this mower it's not really that bad of a job to pull a deck. You see this little pin here? he has got these rods that go down that connect to your deck. Well basically you got one of these on each side. You drop these off and then of course it'll pull out of this. This is your lift bar and then uh, you just pull one pin out front. You got a little bar right here that's got a counter pin on it. Pull that out and I'll go ahead and loosen this bolt here so that I can drop the belt down and then uh I should be able to slide it out so it's not you know really it's it's two three clips and uh, one bolt and it should be able to slide it on out let me go ahead and uh get this clip okay, pulled here. i got that clip pull this should just slide off that pin i'll go around and do the other side the same way and then i uh, like i said pull the one clip here and then it's got this little bracket here to keep the belt from flying off I need to pull this one bolt right here to go ahead and drop that bracket. I'll go ahead and drop it. Come go ahead and pull this little bracket here for the blade thing. Get that screw out of there. And then it just slides out. It's only hooks on one side and it goes through the hole on the other side. So there's that bracket piece off. And I can go ahead and drop the belt off of there. Go around the other side, drop that other pin, drop that front piece, lift the mower up, and I should be able to slide the deck right out of there. Okay, now that I got the uh, bracket pins pulled, now I'm just gonna go ahead and lift the mower up. And I should just be able to pull the deck out of it. Oh, forgot one thing. Dang it. You got the cable that uh, controls the blade. I gotta pull that little pin. So where's the pliers right here? Might have to drop it back down a little bit too. No, I don't know if I can put any undue stress on it. So, Just pull this little spring and cable with that one pin, and then she'll slide on out of here. Yeah. Easy peasy, right? And there's old deck out of it. Yeah, 
There we go. And as you can see, we have a problem. It should be level. Look at that. No reason it's scalping. Well, it's got four bolts that hold the hub on here. Let's go and get these four bolts pulled and see what we got going on. I'll go ahead and pull the blade too. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the blade. <coughs> Hopefully this compressor doesn't come on. It's liable to. Okay, now that I got the blade off, the next thing I want to do is pull these four bolts here and we should be able to drop that thing out and see what's going on. Okay guys, there's your culprit. Look at that. It broke off two of the tabs. That's why the why it was loose and why it was cockeyed one way. What a mess. Talk about a pain to get out too. Old rusted bolts, six years old. At least I got a new one here. They're only about 30 bucks a piece, so I gotta do some pounding on the deck though. Uh, the holes got tweaked one way. I'm gonna have to do a little bit okay, of Okay guys, I got the new hub on now. That turned to be a whole lot of fun. Not so much getting it off, but once I put the new one on, this blade was still like an inch taller than the other one. So I ended up having to beat down in here. And uh, it looks like whenever the two things broke off the other hub, it caused it to bend that metal back, which caused it to have an odd angle on it. Um, anyway, it bent the deck basically. And I had to set it with a five pound sledge and just beat it till I got it back. Uh, it's pretty close now. Basically, whenever you're doing a, doing a lawn service, if you're having towards uneven mowing, first thing you want to check is get your deck off and make sure that your two blades line up to each other. And that should be even across there. If one of them's sticking up above the other one, it's going to scalp all day long. And uh, I've got this within, I mean, it's it's very, very close. Close enough anyway. Um, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't scalp anymore. It should do a good even mowing. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip her over now. And uh, we'll put a new belt on it. Mine as well, since I'm in here. Um, yeah, that, that hub was a lot of fun. Um, not so much the hub as far as getting it back straight to where I could get the get the mower where it's not scalping anymore. So anyway, just kind of a heads up if you're ever working on one of these and uh, rider and you're having a whole lot of scalping on one side, more than likely it's probably because you've either got a bent deck or a broke hub like I did or both. And uh, yeah, you want to get it back to where you have a, where there's no, no transition. As you can see, those are smooth across each other. In fact, if you put the two blades together, the cutting edges together, you can see they're uh, they're right even with each other. One's not higher than the other one. And that, uh, that'll make for a nice even cut when you're mowing. I need to get out of here and get a putty knife and uh, get all this gunk from underneath too. That's no good. That'll cause rust. Uh, I guess she was in for some service. She's six years old. And really, this is the first big problem I've had with it. And it's just my fault. I'm the one that drove it up on a railroad tie. But uh, dang, I didn't know it'd been a deck like that. That uh, sure added a lot. I. I ended up taking that hub off two or three times because uh, I'd pound on it and then I put the hub back on and then it was still crooked. Pound on it some more and I finally figured out I put a put something heavy under the back side of it so that I could uh, so it wouldn't bounce and made it good and solid and was able to straighten it out that way. Anyway, we'll be back. I'm going to put a blade on it next or a belt on it. I'll be back. I'll show you how to put a belt on this guy. Okay, guys, now that I've got the uh, deck fixed, I'm going to go ahead and put a belt on it and... Uh, I'm going to show you when you have the deck off like this, which actually I don't normally stack it like this, but for you guys, I'm doing it this way. But if you look at this belt, it just does a simple S in between the two pulleys. And you got these two stays here and here to keep the belt from derailing. Well, I got my little pry bar here, and uh, you can kind of cheat if you, uh, if you have the deck off like this. So basically, I can just kind of pry underneath here. I can just get the belt out. And I don't have to take the, a lot of times you gotta pull the bolt here and pull the pulley, but since I got it right, it's a lot easier to place the belt. Same thing on this one, I just get in there and just pry it a bit. And voila. Now you definitely, when you wanna replace your belt, you always wanna check your old one with your new one. You don't wanna 
be putting a wrong size belt on, which these are the exact same size. Actually, this belt, as you can see, is getting a little tattered. It really wasn't broke, but uh, hey, I'm in here anyway. I got the deck off. The belt's like, you can get it for like 20 bucks on Amazon. It's worth it. Just go ahead and put it on now. Now, to put it back together, hopefully you're getting a good picture of this. As I always start on one end here, go over the, over the blade pulley there, bring it around this pulley here, then you got, remember you got that little stay there, and I can do the same thing putting it back on. I can just pry it open a little bit. Get it right on there. In fact, if you think you've been there, you can, I did. But, you know, just pry it back up a little bit. Okay, and then on the other side it goes, same thing, you want to go around the pulley the same direction on the bottom pulley right here. Loop it around. Just loop it around like that. Another S flight. And then same thing with this one here. Just going to pry it out a little bit, pop it on there. Voila. We have one belt replaced. Now all you got to do is drive the deck underneath. This goes to the pulley on the motor. That's one complete replaced belt there. What did that take? Two minutes max? Of course, I already had the covers off the sides because I had to replace this spindle right here, which, I, as earlier I showed you, that was a that was a whole lot of fun. Shouldn't have been as hard as it was between, you know, six years of grass and dirt and rust, and then I, I actually bent the deck a little bit. I had to straighten that, straighten the deck on that one side. It actually torqued those bolts, and I showed you how to make sure your blades are level. But anyway, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to slide her underneath there, and then, uh, then we hook this pin up, this pin up to here, and that front one, and hook up the pulley there. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and slide it underneath. I'll see if I can get a better camera view, and I'll go ahead and show you me hooking it all back up. But anyway, there's the belt change. That part is done. Hopefully she'll run the rest of the summer without me having to do any major maintenance on her. Anyway, uh, I'll come back whenever I'm getting ready to... I don't think you need to see my fat butt sliding the deck underneath there, but I'll get it underneath there, and I'll come back and get a camera view of me hooking all the stuff back up. Okay, guys. I'm about ready to get this project done. I was kind of looking at the uh, video. What the other, it's the next day. I, I, wore, uh, I said I was going to take a break to the next day. So anyway, we're back out here the next day, and uh, I was looking at the video that I made on it to start with this, and it's kind of dark, so I tried to, I'm going to try to add a light to this, so maybe... And try to get a better shot so maybe you get a real good vision of uh of this deck and how it goes together etc so anyway <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and hopefully i can drop it down and uh you'll get a good view of all this so let me go ahead and <clears throat> my intention is not to drop it all the way down but, but partially down <clears throat> I have to have it down to hook the deck back up. It's a lot easier that way. Hopefully that's not anything getting in the way there. Trying to do some Hollywood here, right? Okay. I think that'll work good for what I'm trying to do. The first thing we need to do is we need to get that uh, cable back in there controls the, uh, the blade on and off. That's that spring over here. <clears throat> this is kind of right here. So it's different. It's got to be under it. Got her. Whew. That's always the biggest pain of all this that I do is getting that silly spring for the flag release in there. And this guy just slips over. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's probably blocked. It's probably pin that runs through it. 
that kind of pit. I think that's going to be better. Because it grabs on both sides and just on the bottom. Which you might be able to do with that other clip, but I was not having any luck. I think that's going to do just fine. Okay, now let's go ahead and... I went ahead and bought these pins. You can get them over at Harbor Freight like this. That's the little stupid ones like this. I'm sure these are, don't come off as easy, but man, they're a nightmare to get on and off. So we'll give these a try. Hopefully they don't fall out. I'm pretty confident that they won't. Get the watch off here before I scratch it. Get this deck back up and get her back in this pen over here. And these clips are so much easier to put in. side get the other side like so get the pin in it sure this goes over the pulley like so get the front right on here just like so this bracket back in which just goes through the hole on that side back in there hold that hold that Let's go around the other side to get that one in Get that pin in. Put the two dust covers on. We're about there the way. Go ahead and get this clip on here. Like so. And then uh while I'm here, I might as well go ahead and put the shield back on this side. Finger first. shield to put on it. This job is done. Which you definitely want to run these shields because they help keep your blades or the belt on and also keeps your feet out of them. So I suggest highly you continue to put them back on there. Three more bolts here. Get a little extra click there. Extra click there. Extra click there. Good and tight. Guess what? We're done. Let's give one little test spin. Okay.
win this video. It's been a been a fun one. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit that bell so you know when the next cool video is coming out. Have a great day. This is Electron Dan.